I have a lot of people ask me what kind of V-block they need for a certain diameter. It's very simple. I went ahead and drew two diameters, a smaller diameter and a bigger diameter. And if you hold a V-block up to a light, which if your part's heavy, you might not want to do that, but this, the rule is that you want this, the V to go beyond your diameter. Not necessarily the entire diameter. I'm talking about the intersection point. So, for instance, this bigger diameter, the V doesn't go beyond it. What hap what's going to happen, whoever clamps this up, it's going to leave a mark at the intersection point. So there'll be two lines going down your part. And it's also not as rigid as well. So as you can see for the smaller diameter, the V is going beyond the tangent point or the intersection point of the circle to the 45 degree angle or the 90 degree angle. So be sure whenever you're picking out your V-block for your specific diameter that that line of the V-block, the 90 degree angle, goes beyond your part. 